All right, it is the first double digit day of the imminent Christmas advent calendar. So, without further ado, let's move that to the side and take a look at the Pokemon TCG calendar. Uh, I am aware there is a figure calendar, as I think, as well, with like little toys in. This obviously is not that. So, we are on day 10. Um, now, I think I know what this is going to be because. This is one of the items I accidentally read about uh, at the bottom. So, indeed, it is a coin. Ooh, it's quite a big one, actually. So, we've got the Pokemon symbol there. And we have Ice Q, I do believe. Uh, ooh, that's a, that's a really pretty pattern. There we are. That looks a lot better. Uh, that straight on, you cannot see what it is. Hey, there you go. It's Ice Q. Everybody's favourite frozen-headed penguin I guess uh, yeah I quite like the bigger coins to be fair they they are a little bit nicer than the normal uh, smaller size now uh, 11 I did start opening that if you remember on the very first day because I didn't realize that said 11 not one um, but we'll be opening that tomorrow anyway I'll go ahead and get that box now all right so we're just about midway through I think so let's get to it, and it is a Yu-Gi-Oh pack. Uh, it wouldn't be an advent card in the day without a pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Let's see, will I get the correct way first thing round? I will today, look at that. All right, let's, let's begin with Dark Magic Inheritance. Very cool. I'm always a fan of the Dark Magician cards. Ooh, ooh, this has got, oh God, this is very worn. Good lord, this is a goddess bow. Man, there's uh, I think that would be a lightly played on eBay. Uh, next up, we have Jack Wyvern. He is jacked. Next up is a hardened armed dragon. Okay, that's, that's a bit of a creepy one, to be honest. Oh, okay, we've... It, it, uh, hmm. Okay, we've got a rare, like, midway through elemental training. Dude, look at that. That is very nice. This is like a, a secret or a super rare. I can't remember the uh, terminology. That's very cool. Okay, I'll take that. I wonder if the last one will be a hollow then. Maybe that's it. We've got World Legacy Clash. We've got Kaiser Sea Snake. That's an interesting design. Uh, it looks a bit like Orochimaru's uh, snake from Naruto. Next up, we have Destiny Hero Dangerous. Ooh. I do like the um, Elemental Hero and Destiny Hero archetype. I do like me a bit of Tokusatsu in my trading cards. We've got Remote Rebirth, um, which looks like a bit of a weird like, magical UFO, if that makes sense. Oh, hey, there we are. We Nice. We've got, like, two rares, then. Um, and this one is the Satella Knight Zafrathuban. Cool. He looks a bit like Angemon, basically, but like a Yu-Gi-Oh version of Angemon. Hey, I'll, I'll definitely take that. That was a pretty cool pack. That was two uh, hollows there. Again, these aren't crazy good pulls or anything. This was 50 pence. You know, but still, hey, I think it was pretty good value. Oh, okay. I know our next one is another Yu-Gi-Oh pack. Okay, we're all Yu-Gi-Oh today, because uh, the other one was a the other thing from the calendar was a coin, so it is only Yu-Gi-Oh trading cards. Right, let's begin with Three Strikes Barrier. Oh, I think I pulled that before because I think I made the joke of Three Strikes near out. We've got X Crawler Neurogos Neurogos. Link Monster. We've got Primal Cry. We've all done that in the shower every morning. Uh, we've got Volcanic Counter. <laughs> that is a joke, by the way. Don't don't get concerned. I'm not. Uh... Oh, yo, let's go. Okay, we've got Enlightenment Paladin. Um, this is another Hollow, dude. I really like. So that's a Synchro, right? That uh, yeah, Synchro at the bottom there. Man, that is nice. I really like Synchro cards. Synchros and Xyz, it's like the black and the white cards. I don't know, they just look super cool. We've got Layard, Layard the Liberator. 
That's a very confusing creature. It looks a bit like an insect version of uh, Zenyatta from Overwatch. We've got Totem 5. Ah, it's, it's like Jurassic 5, the rap group, except they're all anime creatures instead. Uh, we've got Mystery Shell Dragon. That is a double. We've pulled that before. This is a Magispector Fox QB. Uh, QB, I think, means fox in Japanese, right? Or, or is a QB like a magic fox? Uh, nine tails, I can't remember. Hey, and we've got our other hollow, and that is Heroic Challenger Thousand Blades. Dude, that's cool. I like the like the hand isn't really hollow, so it like stands out from the rest of it. Well, it may have been very Yu-Gi-Oh heavy today, but you know what? We got some really good pulls there. Um, yeah, both hollows are some of my favourites probably. That synchro especially was really cool. I would like to pull some like classic card uh, hollows or something, but we'll see. Anyway, that wraps it up for day ten. Stay tuned, for tomorrow will be day 11, or, or 2. Um, also in the UK, that is technically a rude hand gesture I just did. It's kind of gone out of fashion now, though. It's, it's mainly the middle one. Anyway, um, take care, and I will see you tomorrow for day 11.